Hey, there's Gabe. It's Friday morning. It's about 7.30. Austin's got to go to school early today because they're doing something. Anyway, and I'm home. Don't have to be at work. That's awesome. So I decided I would make them my famous egg sandwiches. Just want to show you guys how it's done. As you can see, the George Foreman, one of the design flaws is it leans down. So I guess it's good because it drains off all the grease when you're doing burgers. But when you want to cook eggs and keep them in there, you have to cram something underneath. I'm using the box of dishwashing soap. All I did is take some eggs, put some salt and pepper in it, whip it up, take the bowl. Oh, I think I used too many eggs. Um, and as I said, use your fingers, smush in the middle, fill the bowl of bread with egg. That one's going to spill. Oh, that one's totally spilling. Oh, well, good thing George Foreman's nonstick. Anyway, that is how you make my famous egg sandwiches. Good morning. I'm on a boat. No, I'm not. I'm in the Bronco. Ha, <laughs> I got you. Um, Stephanie and Austin are at school. I'm going to go ship some crap for eBay, and then I'm going to go over to Kmart, because it says they have better than Black Friday deals. So I'm going to go check that out. If you guys, In case you guys haven't been able to tell, I'm all about on the cheap. I'd like to save money as much as I can. I'm at my local big Kmart. I just went in there because I saw some commercial for better than Black Friday savings, which they had no idea what I was talking about. Anyway, I don't know how that place stays open. I was just in there. There's probably 30 plus employees, and I didn't, maybe one other customer who was also looking for better than Black Friday that they didn't know what he was talking about either. But I don't know how stores like this stay open because they got to be paying all those employees an hourly salary. I don't know. Maybe they just wait till I'm gone and then this place gets packed. Kind of like Shopco. Shopco was huge when I was like nine, and then once Walmart came in and took over, it was pretty much nobody's ever in there. And their stuff's more expensive. I don't get it. I can see the people who are like, well, Walmart's a monopoly, but they offer stuff cheaper. And in a real life situation like our family, you're gonna go for the cheaper. Note to self do not go grocery shopping at 9 30 on a weekday morning. Not the crowd I'm used to. I'm used to the uh, on my way home from work trying to get in and out in a hurry crowd and that was not the crowd today it was a bunch of people wanting to go slow a bunch of angry people giving me the stink eye for no reason I smiled but uh yeah totally different crowd at the grocery store at 9 30 on a Friday than on a uh, six o'clock at night on a Saturday okay this is just really weird I just pulled up after going to the grocery store and right here's row right in front of where Stephanie parks but usually like all the rest of this crap's mine, like the bug wash and the all the other stuff. This gas can isn't my gas can. I have no idea in the world where this gas can came from. I've never owned a gas can with the thing on the end like that. So I literally have no idea at all where this gas can came from. Hopefully Stephanie does or people are just leaving us gas cans. I wanna get Stephanie's pure reaction on this one. Where did that gas can come from? I don't know. You really didn't put that gas can there? No, I'm, I don't think I've ever I've never seen a gas can I've with the red bought, end on it. I've never bought it. You a ever gas seen can. one with an end on it like that? No, I've never even bought a gas can. Have you, do you know where that gas can came from? Seriously, I've never even seen one with that end on it. Have you? I don't, I don't even. I, uh, I don't even know how that end works really. I have no idea. I've yeah. never even bought a gas can, so why would I, I wouldn't start I, with this one? You know that I don't have one like that. No, I wouldn't start with this one. I've never That's bought one. That's weird. One of you guys leave us a gas can? I don't know. It's no, really it weird. Stuff in it. There's gas in it. Weird. That's Did one weird. of you guys leave us a gas can? I hope not. A little I freaky. Thanks, I guess. You swear, you did not leave that gas can there. Oh, it has gas in it. Ew, no. I'm going to build it. What is it? Lego set called Let's see. Lego Racers. This is like the third step in the Lego Racer series. Legos like that. They trick you into doing that. They sell you like a ten dollar set that's cool and then like a fifteen dollar set. And then this is like the thirty dollar set. And I think that series goes up to like a hundred and twenty dollar set. So by the time you're done, you're over three hundred dollars into it if you want to get the full set. Lego is smart people. You ready to build it? You gonna build it? Yeah. yeah. So we started building these over an hour ago. Let's see the red one, bud. Hold it up. 
Ooh, there's the red one, the bad guy car. With the popes on the front, so if you're in front, you get cut and pops your tires in. If you're in back, hook goods at hook you up. What about that one? Uh, this one has goons. Rockets, let's see the side of it. Sweet! Last time I did some uh, three-wheeler video, somebody was asking if we only had one three-wheeler. Austin has a four-wheeler, and we actually do have another three-wheeler. That one's got the pouches, the packs and stuff on it. We've had that one forever. It's an 83 185S Honda, and it runs like a champ. Big old balloon tires. It's super fun. And then the last one, the newest one we got was this, the 200S, before we had a 125M. And Austin used to have a 50 as well. Oh, look at us, Stephanie the college girl. We are on the campus of Salt Lake Community College. Ooh, Steph's doing online class as well. I just realized that was really fast. You're probably busy, dizzy. That's like where the bookstore and stuff is. But Steph's doing online classes this semester, but she still has to come in to turn in stuff every once in a while for her meteorology class. This is the last thing she has to turn in for meteorology this Hi. semester. There's Austin jumping up and down. Is this where you're gonna go to school, bud? No, I think you'll go to a better school than this one. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie and Austin have been telling me about this thing here at the college. The it's down the street from where she's turning her paper. And I don't understand why its eyes are lighting up. Look at that. But does anybody know what that is? If you know what that I is, leave a comment down below. Eye. I didn't see the eye. Though. What do you think, bud? I think oh, is that the eye? Yeah, I can't tell. I don't know if that orange thing that's because... lit up is the eyeball or the... It moves around. Why does it have five lights on it? You're sure that's real? It moves around. It look doesn't it's, move. It's, so if you tap okay, on the glass, it's moving just a little bit. Its... Boy, that's weird. A truer statement has never been said. Kudos to you, Jim Hampton, the professor who has room number 323. Forgot to end this video. I'm gonna end it now. Uh, already got the editing going. You should have full screen. I figured out I was on 4.3 instead of 16 by 9, so hopefully you got full screen today. Hope you guys are having a great day. Stay tuned tomorrow. We're going to go to an orchestra concert tonight. That'll be exciting. Plus, all sorts of stuff going on tomorrow. Uh, we'll talk to you later.